Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to do a skull makeup look. I hope you enjoy it. Make sure to hit the thumbs up button, drop a comment below, and subscribe to my channel for more videos. To start off this look today, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Fantasy Makers Paint Pot in the color white. Just applying it all over my face with my sponge, blending down into my neck. From there I'll be taking a flat liner brush and also a pointed liner brush. Going in in the shade Carbon from my MAC palette. First I'm going to start by sketching out a line just underneath my brow bone, following it along into the bone right underneath my eye, using a shadow to create a line so we can fill it in later. Starting here, I'm just going to draw two circular shapes right around my temples. Next, I'm going to sketch the outline around my nose. Next, I'm going down the side of my face, starting on my temple, following my cheekbone down. The important thing to remember with this look is to follow your own bone structure. I will finish the other side off camera, I'll be right back! The next step is I'm going to be going in with my Face and Body Art Cheek Effects Palette in the color black. I'm going to take my water and just spray the water into the cap because it is a water activated face paint. I'm just going to quickly fill in the black all over both of my eyes. Now just taking the black face paint and also filling in your nose. Now I'm going in with my B Delian Tool 777 brush just to set down the black with black eyeshadow from the MAC palette. From here you'll want to start filling in both sides of your face with the black face paint. I'm going to be taking my eyelash curler, curling both eyes, and then going in with my Marc Jacobs Black Mascara. Now we're going to start shading. I'm going to be taking my Black MAC eyeshadow once again to create dimension above my eyebrow. I'm going to be using my Beauty Blender just to help blend it in a little bit more. We want to create the same dimension across the entire face, so we're going to be shading different areas around the face. I'm starting to map out where I want the teeth to be, just so I can connect all of my lines. And I'm just going in with that black eyeshadow just to create a little bit more depth around my forehead area. Now I'm just going to quickly go over my lips with the white face paint. With my Smashbox Always On Gel Black Eyeliner, I'm going to be putting that on both of my water lines. Now we're going to be drying out where we want our teeth to be. At this point, we're going to start drawing a V or a triangle shape around each line.
I'm taking my shading brush once again, deepening all of my lines. Using the white face paint from the Cheek Effects palette, I'm just going to be putting that all over my teeth just to make them pop. I always like to go back in with my black eyeshadow just to give it more depth once again. The final step is to take the black face paint and fill in the sides of your face where your back teeth would be. makeup look. I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope you follow along and send me your completed skull makeup looks. I definitely tried out a kind of different look today so that's where it kind of got a little bit new because if you do follow me at HMS makeup underscore on Instagram I have done skull makeup in the past. Um, I tried to do something different with my eyebrows this time so they weren't actually you know showing and I did you know just a few little different changes but you can go check it out on my instagram thank you for watching see you next time